Here we're going to look at a problem from the 2001 Putnam exam. So this is question A1. And I think some people consider this to be the easiest Putnam question of all time. And maybe I won't go as far as to say it's the easiest, but once you see the trick, you'll notice that the solution is very, very quick. But I want to point out here that problems on the Putnam exam, especially A1 and B1, are not written for the success of people who have been groomed to do math contests for their whole lives. They're written to provide some success for maybe math students in colleges that have found their love of math while they're in college and not like when they were very, very young. Okay, so let's look at the statement here. So we wanna suppose that S is a set with a binary operation, which we'll call star. So we can see that as a map from S cross S to S. So in other words, if we've got like X and Y in S, then X star Y is a new element from S. And our binary operation satisfies the following rule. So if you take A star B, and then star that with A, you get B. And it's important that you've got the parentheses around this A star B, because we don't know anything about the associativity of this binary operation. So we wanna make sure we do that first. This is true for all A, B, and S. And next, we wanna show that A star B star A is also equal to B, and that's also true for all A and B and S. So in other words, you can move these parentheses from here to here, which a priori, if you've got an abstract binary operation, you can't do that. Okay, so let's maybe see how this goes. And I wanna say that this solution is gonna be very, very quick. So I'm gonna take this given equation and rewrite it with x and y instead of a and b, since our goal equation involves a and b. So let's notice that for all x and y in s, we have the following equation. So this is gonna be x star y star x equals y. So again, that's just rewriting that thing right there. Okay, great. Now what we wanna do is set x equal to something in terms of a and b and y in terms of something in terms of a and b as well. So what we'll do is set x equal to b star a, and we'll set y equal to b. And then what we wanna do is maybe look at what this equation turns into under both of those conditions. So let's maybe start at this left-hand side. So notice this left-hand side is equal to y, which is now b. So we have b equals y but that's gonna be equal to x star y star x by our given. Now let's do both of these replacements right here. So that's gonna be equal to, so we've got parentheses b star a star b, and then star b star a on the outside. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and just reiterate, this is the x term, and then this is the y term. Now we can use our given on this inside where A and B have just been switched with each other. So in other words, we know that this inside becomes A by the given. So we're left with A star B star A. But now looking at the extreme left and right hand side of this equation, we see that we're done. That's a good place to stop.